Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and we're back out on the build today. We're going to start on the electricity and try to get to the plumbing. Well, we're going to try to finish the electricity and try to finish the plumbing, but I ain't making no promises. Oh, let's go on in here. It's already humid as can be. It's going to be a hot one. I don't care. All right. Yesterday came out. I finished up the door, got everything shimmed. I put the foam insulation in the cracks. You got the locks put on. She works perfectly. And even got the deadbolt installed. That's the way we want them to shut. And there's, I don't have to do anything to really, because it's already good. And there's a boy. <laughs> There's the boy. Let me turn your air conditioner on, boy. Get back. Get back. Get your AC running, you know. It's getting humid. Alright. Let's start you guys out on low. Oh, I see those. Yeah, I do see those. I'll get you some. Yeah? Did you sleep good? Melly, did you sleep good last night? What about this boy? Yeah, he don't care. Let me get you guys some fresh water in here. We're going to get busy, man. Uh, I'm going to start out there. And by that time, it'll be warm enough. I can come in here into the air conditioning. And he says he is an electrician. But I highly doubt it because he's also a carpenter, a mechanic. You name it. He claims to be everything. All right, guys, let's get busy. Ain't got, no, ain't got time to sit here gabbing with you guys. Come on. All right, first thing I need to do is determine where I'm going to run my electric to and where I'm putting certain things. My ceiling fan, I'm going to center on this pole, which is the center of the screen porch. So, it has got to go right about in there. So, I'm going to run a 2x4 across that. And I'm going to put this heavy metal up there. And I believe I'm going to have a light switch right there, which will be a pretty close proximity to that. Now, this ceiling fan does not, I don't believe it has a light on it. No, nope. because I wanted to, yeah, it does. It does. Well, no, it doesn't. I don't think it does. And that's fine. But I've looked at the dimensions on here, so I know it's going to be 8, 8.13 inch. What the hell does that mean? Now, let's call it 9. So I'm going to have to put it up further up this way. I'm just going to hang out about this low. It'll just clear my noggin. But I'll probably have uh, furniture here, so it ain't going to matter. Uh, I know I'll have furniture there, because the fan will be there. So we're going to put that there. Uh, I'm probably going to put a outlet straight down from there. So that makes it very simple running uh, the switch and the wire for the outlet. Now, on the outside here, I want to have a... Actually, I'm going to put it... Yeah, I'm going to put it uh, out here. Either I got a big light that goes out here, or I may put it out here in the center because I plan to do some things out here as well. So, I don't need a whole lot of electric in here. I am just going to put a double gain uh, outlet out there in here it'll just be external out, outside of the wall in fact i may go get a different kind of box but i'll go ahead and run the wires there i think i have one here somewhere uh because i'm not cutting in i may cut into it nah because it'd be too hard to get through that and run wire so anyway and then in the dog apartment now this will be run off of the same switch oh, I'm just tripped I'm going to tap off of this one, which is run to a, uh, oh boy, that was barely plugged in, which is run to a 20 amp breaker, which is sufficient for everything I'm going to run in there. Now for the dog apartment, I am going to run it on a 30 amp breaker. And the reason being is not so much the air conditioner I have in there. That is, that is fine on a 20 amp, but go in here. 
Oh boy. Excuse the fan and the air conditioner. But I do have a small uh, 1500 watt electric heater that I'll be running in the winter. That should be plenty to warm this whole place up. So. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. If you've ever run an electric heater uh, that's 1500 watts, you know if you run it on a 20 amp breaker that it gets hot. So we're, we're going to, plus I'm running a washing machine in here. Now the dryer is going to have uh, the 240 volt and I'll just disconnect it to wash the dryer sitting right there. I'll just feed it to this wall and it's fine right there. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm also going to put a light in here. I have one I took down when I did the stair build uh, that was above my office. So we'll put that in. I'll put a light switch in here somewhere, probably on that side. That would make more sense. So, are you, you've got your wire cutters and your electrical tape. Okay, now he's like, uh oh, he's going to put me to the test. Are you ready to do rectricity? That's what dogs call electricity. Rectricity, because they can't pronounce electricity. Can you? Well, what do you do for a trade? She says she's a welder, but I've never seen a welder. And she don't have thumbs. And you don't have thumbs. So how are you going to hold wire cutters, boy? Eh, he don't know. All right. Now, since this ceiling slopes, I want this board to be level. I don't want it sloping with the roof because then the fan's going to be cockeyed. I want the fan to be level if you run a fan cockeyed. But at the same time, I want this to be flush with the bottom because I'm going to be probably putting something over the top here. So. That's about where I want that. Alright. Need my little torpedo level. Yes, I can't find it. I don't think I'm going to get a true level. get to this it's getting hot I gotta get the fan back on guys all right we got the outlet box for the ceiling fan uh, kind of looks cockeyed if you look at it from like this angle but it's level if you come back here and look at it with the it's level with the frame of the screen porch it's level I've also got it extending about a half an inch past a joist because I'm gonna probably have that corrugated tin on there and that's gonna take up room so that way when I get the tin on that will be flush all right all right now obviously I haven't finished this part yet I want to go ahead and run my electrical gonna start running 12 2 wire that's all it's gonna need in here start feeding this through and I'll probably have to get more wire Too much crap in the way here you you sir you're not I'm throwing you out in the yard don't give me that look you're going out of here gone with you ah. all right Get in there. All right. I'm gonna pull about a 
foot extra, foot and a half. All right, let me pop that in on there. I am the most disorganized person, I swear. Anybody want a nickel? Alright, that's more than enough. That's probably too much. I don't want to short myself. Alright. Now, we'll go in there and chop that. Then we're going to run another one in there. Back through to about right yonder with the light switch. Then that's wired. Well, not really, but at the beginning stages of what you know what I mean, man. Come on. And then we will tap into, uh, you'll see. Nope, not doing it that way. What am I thinking? It's been a while since I've had to wire anything. At least a year. All right, this one is going to come down to the outlet. We'll run another one from the outlet into here. One out of here, over to here for the light. So this will become our outlet. And that pretty much takes care of all the electrical in this room except for that. I will probably come off of that, but I don't know. I don't know yet. I got too much junk in my way. All right, let's come this way. I still gotta get this. T111 secured. Alright, right there, that's plenty. Alright, now we'll go in there and cut that. Give me some extra so I can tap into that existing uh, outlet that's in there. That won't be used that much, but I will when I make that an office. That's my plan for that room once I get the washer and dryer out, is to make that a little office with maybe some storage. So let me get the rest of this pulled. It is getting warm as usual. We'll go keep it. All right, I'm gonna cut through this old T111 so I can mount my light switch box. Found some 14 2 wire. That's all you need. You don't want to waste good 12 2 wire on a light switch. You don't need much juice for that. So I'm gonna try to cut this. Oh, oh there's a stud or something there. Dang it. Well, let's just try it from here. Now this will be covered. I got enough of that T111 to cover this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's the first time I've used this, so. Huh. I don't know. I haven't read the instructions, so I don't know much about it. I do know. That's probably going in there like that there. What in the name of uh, Barney Fife is going on here? Sad thing is it came with blades and I lost them. I don't know anything about this thing. Got all kinds of gadgets on it. Don't make me go to the electric one. I will. I have the electricity right here. Hmm. I'll have to read the instructions. I hate reading instructions. All right, man. We electrified. Uh, 
What's that got in there? Craziness. Comment. Somebody was saying they were afraid because I was cutting in these walls. Uh, when I bought this cabin, I had tore out all the wires of the old electrical. And yes, there's wires in the wall, uh, but they're dead. I just cut them where I could, left them in the wall. So they are dead. I don't know what they got going on there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get an outlet in there banging in place in that little bitty hole. Ooh, it doesn't smell worse than old wood. Now, let me go grab an outlet real quick. <laughs> Where are they? That ain't gonna work anyway because I can't get wire through this wall without a lot of work. So it'll have to be an exterior box. I want it to be metal. I don't have one. Everything I bought, I really can't use. I need a metal outlet. Don't have it. So I'm just gonna run the wires and next time I'm in town, probably tomorrow, I'll pick up what I need. Uh, I need some good outdoor type stuff. Damn. Uh, yeah. Alright, let me figure this out. See what I'm gonna do next. Fortunately, 50 feet of wire does not go far. And I do got some left. Uh, probably enough to run into the dog apartment. But I've got this wired now for the switch. Got it wired for the ceiling fan and the electrical outlet, which I will have to pick up tomorrow. I'm also going to pick up some uh, electrical PVC, which is the gray stuff. It don't. It's the same stuff. They just paint it gray. Uh, I want that to look decent. I don't want to tack it to the wall, you know, like that. That's fine up there as long as I don't screw into that. So I want to run like a PVC, and it'll be painted the same color as the wall, so it won't look bad. So that's about as far as I can get with electrical today. So. It's too early to quit now, so I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do next uh, when I come back. You will see. It's too hot to paint. Too humid. I don't want to deal with that. So we'll see what else I can do. Maybe we'll look at the plumbing. I don't know. That would be in here. I may just go in there. Well, I don't want to finish the insulation because I haven't run any of that stuff in there yet. So I may run, run one wire. Uh, but... I, I still need one more line for a light that I'm going to put back here, but I, I, I can't jump off of this outlet because I'm using it for the light. You can't put too many on there. So when I run that, I'm running that off a 30 amp breaker. So I, you, you can go a lot of outlets on a 30 amp breaker. So I'll run that once I, I'll jump off where the air conditioner is and come out here. It's probably going to go on this pole. It's a big old cool light. I got to do... A product review on that when I install that so those will be installed the same time and I'll probably put the other one uh, in front of the house so all right let me come up with something else to do because it's too early to quit uh, I'm gonna go in there and make an uh, eye appointment for me and Jeff hopefully they can get us in they're only open in Greenwood which is about an hour from here on Tuesdays, so I'm gonna call see if we can't get in next Tuesday because I'm gonna tell you these give me a problem and, I mean they're bad and his his glasses are bad so and I want to do that for him and help him out on that because man if you've seen his glasses you would wonder how he even sees anything they're bad all right let me think of what I'm gonna do next and uh, we'll be back all right well I went across the walls and I fastened them down better. I tell you what, I don't have any more lumber. There's nothing I can do without any two by fours or whatever. So let's put these bamboo shades up. That might help cut out some of this sunlight, make it even cooler in here. And then when I want them open, I just roll them up. So let's get busy on that. Let me get these laid out to the windows they go to and we'll check them out here in a minute. 
All right, guys, you're going to have to bear with me on the noise of the fan. I am not burning off. It is hot in here. Well, these two windows are cut perfect. Those two are too short. They'll work, but they're not perfect like these were cut. Looks like the rest of them will fit. I don't know about that one down there. But let's get one on the road. See if we can't get some of that sun and that heat out of here. Goodness gracious, you got enough cord to go to China. Oh, that's where they came from, China. Uh, let me see here. Ah, got these little eye hooks. I guess you stick those up in there. I know I measured these from inside to inside, so. Let's see, what do we got going on there? Okay, I'll go ahead and hang them. I ain't sure here. Okay, this comes on the outside. These stink. They smell like molasses. Pesticide. Smallest bamboo I've ever seen. Hopefully they look good. Bamboo. Bamboo. That's another funny word. Kind of like spline. Alright, I'm getting in a fight with this string here. I ain't gonna cut it because I don't know what it does. Bamboo. Don't bamboos it. There we have it. Wow, which is the inside and which is the outside. Can't say. Did make the appointment. We are going next Tuesday. Alright, that should go to the inside. It better be long enough. Oh, yeah. Alright. Now do we want them in like that? I don't know because the other ones, I may have to cut them. But I want them on the inside. I got two of them up. 
I messed the first one up and I had to fix it, but we figured it out. They, I mean, they're pretty much ready to go when you just gotta unroll the string and they just hang them. And I've moved some string around and screwed it up, but the only thing I don't like is the gap there. I could probably rig something else up, but I guess it's all right. But uh, I can already tell you, it makes a significant difference in here. Uh, I gotta get these even. Eh, whatever. But they're pretty cool. And those are nice, you know, if you want to come out here in the afternoon when it's cooler and take a nap or whatever, you just put them old shades down. Let's go out, let's go outside and see what it looks like from out there. Let's see. Oh yeah, you're not seeing through that. Pretty cool. I like it compared to that. That's cool. All right. All right, there we are with the uh, bamboo shades. They look pretty good. Problem is, the other three don't fit. I'm gonna have to do some trimming if that's even possible. But uh, this is the main, my main objective was to get in this back window where the sun's coming in. Man, does that make a difference. And it looks pretty good from out here as well. So, guys, I'm gonna have to end it here. I know it probably wasn't a very long video, but uh, the cameras are dying getting too hot for them these gopros they don't do well in the heat even inside they're not they're not lasting long and they keep going out so if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe give me a like give me another like i don't care hey before we go though let's go check it out i did get that one shade hung but as you can see it's too wide to go inside the frame like these and i know i measured from inside to inside now i don't know what the heck who knows It'll work for now. It's blocking that morning sun. And uh, it, it does make a big difference. Are these very good ones? No, they're not. They're pretty cheap. And they weren't cheap. But that's what I got. I'll leave them here until I can find something better someday down the road. But it's gonna do. So what we recap, we got the shades hung. We got the ceiling fan wired switch. We've got the outlet wired. I gotta go buy outlets and conduit, which will just be PVC and the fittings and all that, because I want this to be right. And I don't, I'm probably gonna go ahead and hang the fan, even though I don't have the metal on here yet, but I'm gonna have to wait on that. You know, that's gonna be a pretty good expense. And I'm watching what I'm spending now. I'm gonna try, my main focus is trying to get everything off the ground that's in a box that I can put up like these shades they were laying there now they're up they're out of my way and uh, I've got some furniture to put together I've got carpet that carpet I don't want to put in until I'm done before I'm done painting and all that which makes sense so all right guys it's getting extremely hot I'm gonna go in eat a little lunch and edit this video so we're gonna try to do it every day this week we might try to do every day this month but if some, some videos will be longer than others, I'll try at least get them 20 minutes for you. All right, guys, happy trails. Big old greasy, messy burgers. 
Mm, that's for lunch. Ooh, look at that big old greasy cheeseburger. When you bite it, it squirts down your chin. Them's the good kind. Mmm, garden tomatoes. Mmm, big old greasy burger. Whoa. Alright guys, happy trails.